Hi, it's Karn from the Air Zoo. All around us, there are gangs of molecules that congregate, link up, and collaborate to make materials that are strong, stretchy, smoother, fluffy, materials that store energy, even materials that store information, and materials that are practically immortal. What do all these materials have in common? They are all polymers. To explain further, let's talk about grammar. I love collective nouns. Everyone knows a group of fish is called a school and a group of lions is a pride, but what is a group of crows called? A murder. Other fun collective nouns, shiver of sharks, fluffle of bunnies. What do collective nouns have to do with polymers? Polymers are also groups of things. Poly means many and mer is... Mermaid. Nope. Mer means part. Polymers are not just mers loosely and randomly grouped together, they are organized in a pattern and chemically linked together. Technically, a polymer is made of subunits called monomers. The monomers repeat in a pattern, and the polymer can be simple with just one type of subunit, like this, or a polymer can be complex with several different types of subunits linked together. Polymers are chains that can have thousands of repeating subunits. Polymers are everywhere. The DNA in your cells, the heart beating in your chest, the shirt on your back, the potato chip you crunch, the paper you scribble on, the garbage bag you stuff, all of these things contain polymers. Anything plastic is made of polymers. For example, flexible lightweight bubble wrap is made from low density polyethylene. Strong shatterproof safety glasses like these are made from polycarbonate plastic. The same monomer can be linked differently to make different polymers. Both the starch polymers in foods like potatoes and the cellulose polymers in paper and cotton are made up of the glucose sugar molecule. All proteins are polymers made from amino acid monomers. The type, number, and order of the amino acids affect the shape and function of the protein polymer. Some proteins do work in the body like your arm muscle, but other proteins like keratin give structure to fingernails, hair, or animal horns. Polymers are also fun to play with. Who doesn't like slime? Many popular slime recipes use glue made from the polymer polyvinyl acetate as a key ingredient. Take a minute to appreciate the amazing diversity and ubiquity of polymers and learn more in the Air Zoo's slime science classes and chemistry camps. Until next time, happy sciencing.